10 anime villains who deserve a happy ending despite their evil deeds, these anime villains weren't all bad and they deserve happiness, a villain's evil actions are never excusable, but sometimes understandable. While anime's villains commit atrocities that can even make some of the worst real-life criminals look like upstanding citizens, their situation isn't always black and white. In morality's gray area lies some of anime's most infamous villains, some of anime's most well-written characters just happen to be villains, and their backstories can at times make it hard not to feel for them. Not everyone that does bad things is a bad person at heart, and some of anime's greatest villains embody that idea so perfectly that fans can't help but wish they could turn things around and find happiness in the end. Number 10. Shigaraki from My Hero Academia From his earliest memories in childhood, Shigaraki could only recall suffering abuse, alienation and tragedy. While he definitely became the worst kind of villain bent on total destruction, a look back at what made him that way shows a child who never received the love he needed and a young man who was forced out of society. Shigaraki would definitely have a lot of work to do in order to rehabilitate from the sad state he found himself in, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. What makes Midoriya a true hero is the fact that he can see pain in Shigaraki's heart, and refuses to give up on him because of it. Number 9. Eren Yeager There may be no other character in anime that has put fans through as much an emotional roller coaster as Eren. What began as a childhood of heartbreak with a glimmer of hope, resulted in a life fueled by hopelessness and the desire for revenge. Despite Eren's fall from grace, the reasons behind his actions, as heinous as his actions may be, is at the very least understandable. Eren is a person with all the power in the world, and yet he still didn't have the power to protect the world from himself. Number 8. Team Rocket. Jesse, James, and Meowth have given off mixed signals over the years. Despite their villainous schemes and plots to rob and con their way into Giovanni's favor, their criminal activity is really only part of the story. Even though Team Rocket has done their best to steal Ash's Pokemon, they've also been there to help him out in his journey more than once. It just goes to show that, beneath their many disguises, Team Rocket's trio still have good hearts. If nothing else, they've never succeeded at actually stealing Ash's Pikachu anyway, so their crimes are more like attempts than actual offenses. Number 7. Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z when he was first introduced in Dragon Ball Z, Makin Buu was seen as the ultimate incarnation of pure evil. There was no redeeming him because there could be nothing inside him to be reasoned with. However, as time went on, the Z fighters, and especially Hercule, came to realize there was more to Buu than meets the eye. Fast forward to Dragon Ball Super, and Majin Buu is an integral part of the Earth's defense and best friend to Hercule. While many villains can only hope for redemption and a happy ending, Majin Buu is one of the very few who seems to have truly had it. Number 6. Isabella from the Promised Neverland The state of the world that Isabella lived in was never her fault. She merely did what she had to in order to survive in a reality where she would have no chance of living beyond her pre-teens. However, her decision to remain in her position and groom the next generation to accept the fate she was able to avoid can only be seen as cowardly. It wasn't until Emma stood up and refused to accept the fate of her siblings that Isabella was herself inspired to make a chain. Sadly her revelation came too late for the other children that already met their fates. Number 5. Itachi Uchiha After killing off the entirety of his clan and driving them into near extinction, Itachi was understandably an infamous and wanted man by the Hidden Leaf Village. While this seemed like a senseless crime, the reality proved the helplessness of Itachi's position and the sad truth he was left to shoulder alone for many years. In reality, Itachi was a loyal soldier and a loving brother to Sasuke who simply wanted to protect his village, even at the cost of his own life. Even up until his last moment, Itachi was able to smile for his brother, and that act alone was enough to prove life-altering for Sasuke. Number 4. The Controlled Devil from Chainsaw Man The Controlled Devil was never inherently evil in and of itself. According to Pachita, all she ever truly wanted was to feel equal to others, but she was never loved in a way that gave her that. In order to bring equality and peace to humanity, the Control Devil sought to use her powers to forcefully bring everyone together under her iron-fisted rule. If the Control Devil only had someone to love and understand her, perhaps she would be able to experience companionship without feeling the need to impose her will onto others. Number 3. Tanya from the Saga of Tanya the Evil Though Tanya has a stark belief that only the strong survive and that humans are inherently selfish, she has a valid reason for believing that. After all, she was killed in her past life after being pushed onto train tracks, and has developed a harsh view of humanity since. Tanya's twisted philosophy is the result of her personal experience, and that fact makes her a truly tragic character. Though her merciless tactics in war cannot go ignored, fans can't help but wonder whether Tanya has the capacity for change, and if maybe she just needed a hug all along. Number 2. 
Petaljuice from Re. Zero. Petaljuice was actually once the beloved friend of Amelia's Aunt Fortuna when Amelia was still a child. During that period of his life, Petaljuice was a straight-laced, upstanding citizen who would have been willing to protect both Fortuna and Amelia with his life. Sadly, the man that Petalguys used to be is a stark contrast to the one that he became after he was tricked into killing Fortuna by Pandora. When the reality of this sad truth finally hit him, it entirely broke Petaljuice psychologically, transforming him into the caricature of insanity that he's known as today. Number 1. Meru M from Hunter x Hunter Meru M's story of discovering humanity's worth is as thought-provoking as it is heartwarming. While he was inevitably able to change and accept human beings for both their strengths and weaknesses, it was already far too late for him. Between his encounter with Netero and his friendship with Kamugi, Meru M was forced to face the truth that human life inhabits a far broader spectrum than the Chimera Ants previously understood. Unfortunately, Meru M did not live long enough to put his newfound understanding into practice, and both the Chimera Ants and humanity lost out because of it.